I was afraid in leaving Mormonism because of the uncertainty of my future and I'm concerned for losing my eternal family, for, for jeopardizing somehow my, my eternal family. I would love to have an eternal family in, in the sense that, you know, Mormonism promises it, but they promise it in a perversion in a, in a perverted way that they can't actually fulfill. They can't sustain because it perverts what God has planned. God instituted family and, and marriage and childbearing, but it is temporary. It's a temporary picture. Marriage is a picture of Christ's union with his bride. And the hope is that future fulfillment at the wedding supper of the lamb, um, rather than um, my relationship with a human being, it's my relationship with God and her, my wife's relationship with God. So the point of marriage is to, it is a picture of God's relationship with his bride. And it is something that God has said is good. It is not good that man is alone. Um, and he is appointed for, for marriage between man and a woman. And for most people, that's, that's the, that's something they should be working towards and actively seeking and looking forward to if they're not already in. And if they're in it, it's something to cherish. And the blessing of giving birth to children is also a picture of God and his children, the children of the light that he, um, he brings newness of life to by his grace and his power. And to raise children is also a blessing from, from the Lord. I have brothers and sisters all over the world, um, in, in remote parts of the world that the gospel has reached people who don't look anything like me, who can't speak the same language, that have been redeemed by God's grace from every nation, tribe, and tongue, and will continue to be redeemed and will continue to be grafted into an eternal family.